welcome back to Wolf vs. Ponies. Today it's a Yelper episode. That's what it is. The map, yeah, this episode, Spice Up Your Life, is pretty much a Yelping episode. So, let's begin. Apparently, the map seems to be broken for some reason. You know, because Starlight broke it. This is the first time they're paying any mind to it. You know, it's not that important. It was just a main part of last season, but let's forget about it. And, I wonder how we're gonna fix it. Use magic, of course. Oh, apparently it's a broken television. Thanks, Celestia. I thought it was a powerful magical artifact, but it's only a TV. You know, that's easy. Rarity and Pinky are the ones who are summoned, and they must go to Cancelot. Upon arrival, the problem has to do with restaurants. Like I said, Yelper episode. They visit various restaurants that are all pretty much the same. They serve tiny-ass food, but have a three-star rating. That's only average, unless they use a different scale. Why is that good? The food they serve is so small that even Gordon Ramsay would ask for more. But how dare you serve me food from this disgusting fridge and stand there and call me an asshole, chef. Excuse me, chef. Then, they wander into an Indian restaurant that I shall call the Wandering Elephant. Let's compare this episode to another one. Let's say, oh, I don't know, South Park. South Park's problem was people being obsessed with Yelp and demanding special treatment because they thought they were all that. The problem ensued when they fought against the Yelpers. They, I mean the restaurant owners. It ended with the restaurants giving them the same treatment, but just gift wrapped a little. They still got their vengeance, but the, it, was under, it was under the table. Here, an underrated restaurant needs help staying open. Rarity tries to modernize it, and Pinky wants it to stay the same. Good premise. Then we get a song. You know, Indian music has its own pros, but here, I guess they didn't really care and just thought that they could do it. It's a generic, racist Indian song that, mi that imitates their beats. Bollywood is actually pretty good. It's a shame DHX tried to imitate it here. Rarity and Pinky do their best, and the critic and, tour and two tourists come. Saffron, the daughter who pretty much owns this restaurant, I guess, tries to be herself in her food, and Rarity stops Pinky from delivering it because it's not what the critic wants. So it's all Rarity's fault the place isn't raided, because she stops Pinky, Pinky accidentally stops, throws the plate, and it lands on the critic. Good job, Rarity. It's too bad she's a main character because the raider is the villain here. Curse her! The family then gets reunited over how they used to cook and have fun. You know, like how these small family businesses start. It sp starts when they're young as an idea, and then once they get the money, it actually grows and blossoms into something. Plot over. Rarity later gets more ponies to visit. And wait, is that Gordon Ramsay? I have summoned thee to this episode! And everything works out in the end. The villain is the food critic, not Rarity. And the restaurants are going back to the way they should have been to what they should have been doing. Their own style. Oh, and Jim Miller came back. That's a, another plus of this episode. There's still one thing that puts me off in the episode, though. Was that scene really necessary animated? Did we really need that scene? Stop it. Stop it. Why must I suffer? Ain't I a stinker? This episode, you know, it doesn't really deserve any kind of true rating. I'm not even gonna give it a one here. So the rating for the episode will be this. I'm Wolf, and I'll see you later. And look at that for a stinking attitude. Look at that. A disgusting attitude. Hey, look, look at me, look at me. You serve me shit like that, take your jacket, and fuck off. Yes, chef. And I just get so pissed off with you around. You're misinterpreting the competition. It's Master Chef, not Master Bait. Look at the mess of this place! It's fucking ridiculous! Someone fucking man up! Young man, you are running a business! Whole wings! Next to fucking Raw Paul! You kill everybody! Stand in there like some jerk. Stand strong, buddy. Stand nice and strong. Push your arms out. You look like a Yes, I'm sorry, I do not speak English, okay. What, you were just talking? Yes, yes, hot dog, hot dog, yes sir, no sir, maybe, okay.